Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the RoadBuilder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over all of the mesh import errors on Roblox that I know of. If you have any other questions about any more that I may be missed in this video, let me know in the comments below and I will be trying my best to reply to those. But I've went ahead and made three meshes for the most common errors that you will face when importing something into Roblox Studio. First things first, we're going to go ahead and export all of these and I will show you the errors and then I'll show you how to fix them. All right, guys. So now we're going to hop into our test place real quick and start importing these guys. I'm just going to use the bulk import tool and check it out. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and do the face flipped or flipped faces if you want to call it either or check this out we're going to insert with location i don't know why i said insert like that but as you can see some of our sides are actually invisible all right now that's because the faces are backwards or flipped and to fix this there's two ways to do it one way you can just click on your mesh and click double sided and that'll fix it but uh, problem with this is if you do it for a lot of meshes, it could really hinder on game performance, I do believe. So I'll go ahead, hop into Blender, and show you guys how to fix this air first. So right here, this is the cube that I made have flipped faces. The easiest way to do it, if you already know what faces they are, select those, do Alt-N, and then flip. Now I'm going to flip these back, just in case you don't know which faces are flipped. You can go ahead and hop into Edit Mode, select it, click right here, and go to Face Orientation. Now, any face that is red is a flipped face and will be backwards in Roblox Studio, therefore being invisible. To change this, Alt-N, flip, and there you go. All your faces are now the right way. Re-export this, import it to Roblox, and there will be no more invisible parts. All right, guys, up next, we have the too many vertices. All right, check this out. Contains more than 10,000 triangles. I said vertices, I meant tries, whatever. Uh, this is pretty simple to fix. Basically, if you go too high poly, uh, you're not, you're not going to have the best of time, okay? So this is the mesh right here. And as you can see down here, 49,000 tries, that's a bit much, okay? Now, the best way that I do this, uh, I just decimate it. All right. Now, of course, you don't want to go like all the way down like this because it's going to look bad, but you can go down to where it still looks like the object that you're wanting to do. All right. Now, this is 2000, so that would work. But if you don't want it to be that much, you bring this up a little bit, apply it and then add another decimate modifier afterwards and start bringing this one down as well. And just keep doing that until your tries are accepted to Roblox. I believe it's 10,000 tops. Apply this, re-export, and then import to Studio. Uh, another problem we have a lot of the time is the no vertices found. Uh, I found usually when I export something in uh, edit mode, it does that. Like, so just don't export in edit mode. Make sure you're in object mode. You can switch it right here or by pressing tab on your keyboard. Super, super simple. And last but not least, the only other issue that I can think of is like trying again and then it'll give you the amount of time or the amount of tries to fix that just re-export your mesh sometimes it just doesn't uh work the best just re-export your mesh you'll be a-ok -okay, all good i hope this video did help you guys out a ton if it did and you want to see more content like this make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe have a great day later